This is my third freaking attempt to record this video. YouTube keeps crashing. I'm getting pretty pissed. So let's see how quick I can make this video. So, NFL Pickums, there's a one point lead for Wynum Dynam. He's got seven other guys right in the hunt behind him, so don't think you got a chance right now, buddy. It's still everyone's game. Playoffs. Playoffs. This is exciting. I beat Dirty Engines, which really kind of screwed him a little. I mean, Matt, you're going to make the playoffs. Don't worry. Okay? You're going to make the playoffs. You play Ryan next week. He could upset you. Don't get me wrong. He could upset you. But the sad part for you, Matt, is that you had a chance to win the division, be a 1, 2, or 3 seed. But now you are going to be a Pro, you still have a chance to win the division. There's just stuff that has to happen. But you could be a four, a five, or you could even be a six seed. That's crazy. How you you could be literally, you could be any seed right now. You are. The possibilities are endless. You could be a, literally one, two, three, four, five, or six. You, you don't know what you're going to be yet. Pocket rockets. Everything's in your court to win the division. You win. You win the division. You lose. You need dirty engines to lose, you still win the division. So, and if you win, Josh, you would probably be a one, no, you could still be a, you're a one, two, or three seed still. Pink Taco has clinched his division, but he hasn't clinched a one, two, or three seed. He wins next week, he'll be a number one seed. If he loses, all bets are off. He could be a one, two, or three. Wind them, dine them. Man, what a frustrating year for you. I mean, you start the year, I got by week eight, you're thinking, oh, this is, my team's got this wrapped up, right? Seven and one. Got it wrapped up. You are probably going to finish the season seven and seven and in the toilet bowl. What the heck? Seven and seven and in the toilet bowl. That is just crazy. You only, oh, wait. You could be a 7-7 seven and seven team with a 6 seed. Matt, I didn't even realize this. I didn't even realize this, Matt. That if you lose, you might not make the playoffs. Really? Matt, if you lose, you would be 7-7, seven and seven, but you might not have enough points over Wynum Dynam, and Wynum Dynam would make the playoffs. I, didn't, I just realized that. Wow, Matt, I can't believe that, dude. Quit calling me. Dude, I can't believe that. One, two, you could be a one through six seed or toilet bowl. <laughs> Gosh, that is insane. All this in one game next week. So, Wynum Dynam, you win somehow over Pink Taco, you're going to be in the playoffs. You lose, then you need Dirty Engines to lose. Wow. Other than that, Beats by Ray, you have clinched the playoff spot. You're in the playoffs. Good job, Jeremy. Because I think you've struggled in my league for the last few years. So props to you for making the playoffs. Beats by Ray. Uh, Swifties, if you win, you're in the playoffs. Because, and you might win the division. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whoever wins between you or Jeremy next week will win the division. Simple as that, because you're going to have more points than him. Here for beer or Captain Insano's. One of you will win and have eight wins. And that team with the eight wins still might not make the playoffs, because if Wine or Dynam somehow beats Pink Taco, then you need Dirty Engines to lose to make the playoffs. So you need to win, and you need... Pink Taco to win, or or you need Dirty Engines to lose. Wow, I can't believe Dirty Engines could not make the playoffs. Possibly, the defending champion could get knocked out of the playoffs. Still, unreal. So there is just a lot of scenarios that could still happen. What I do know is that me, Doo Doo, Teddy, and Ryan are going to the toilet bowl. Four of us are good, definitely going to the toilet bowl, and we'll find out the other two going to the toilet bowl next week. Now let's talk Chiefs.
I cannot believe how awesome these Chiefs are. Actually, I can. Because I kind of didn't really predict they'd be like this. I, well, yeah, I did. I just said they would probably be 1-5 one and, one and five to start the season. 1-5 or 1-4. and four, One of those two. But then I said they would go on a tear. And they should finish the season 11-5 and five for the season. I still think they have a good chance of going 11-5. and five. Could be 10-6. and six, But that's definitely a playoff spot. And if the stupid Broncos would start losing, we could still have a chance to win the division. At this rate, I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Broncos are going to win the division. It will be a wild card. So much for a home game playoff and all that crap. But the Chiefs look good. Great. Their defense is playing solid. Their offense is playing with no mistakes right now. No fumbles, no interceptions, and they're getting the job done. Sure, field goals might be our way to go, and a touchdown here and there, but it's getting the job done. So, I mean, look at the stupid Baltimore Ravens. When they had Trent Dilfer and Joe Flacco, they won Super Bowls because of boring football with awesome defense. The New York Giants beat the Patriots with... Uh, offense was just so-so, but a defense at rock, and this defense looks good. I'm loving this. Loving this. This Chiefs team could have a good playoff run, especially when the Patriots, they keep losing players left and right. I mean, they're going to fail. I think there's, I, I love the Patriots because I think they could have a great year, but they kept losing players, and there's just no way Brady can overcome that. So, sorry. Patriots, you are not going to go to the Super Bowl. There is just, I just don't see it happening. I think it's going to be either the Broncos or even us. Dare, do I dare say the Houston Texans? I mean, they kind of remind you of the Chiefs. Their defense is really stepped up. And their offense is doing just okay. I mean, they got at least DeAndre Hopkins. And their running game is doing so-so. So, I don't know. Anyway... It's going to be a fun December month of football. FYI, I do have Chiefs-Browns tickets for sale front row in the end zone. They are awesome seats. It's uh, 400 bucks, 400 bucks for three tickets, front row, and a parking pass. Just let me know. See you guys.